Good evening, everybody. Listening a little bit to Sean Hannity, and I'll be honest, on one hand, I, I listen to him, and I think, you know, he's not, you know, I don't want to say anything negative. He's a, he seems like a nice guy and everything, but like, you know, it's not like Levin or Glenn Beck or, or uh, the, the late Rush Limbaugh, but Lachaim Toivin, who were great intellectuals, but he, he's trying, and he <coughs> and he has good ideas. But I really appreciate that he brought on today to debate uh, this Dr. Seuss issue, two African-American professors, experts in civil rights, discrimination, and so forth, with opposing views. And I appreciate that he brings out these two different sides of the coin because I like to hear the different views. I like to hear... You know, and, it, and I understand why I believe what I believe. And something that I've been saying for a while is that this new movement that we see called anti-racism is really racism. Um, but it's also very short-sighted. It doesn't recognize what America is all about. And it's, it's extremely problematic, the way that it's presented, because it, there are good points in it, but we have to understand what are the goals of this, what's the end game of this so-called anti-racist movement, which is actually racist. And really, it's going back to the same old fights that were between Martin Luther King and Malcolm X back in the 1960s, meaning the Republican approach, the conservative approach is that of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. And I would even dare say Malcolm X himself after the Hodge after converting to traditional Islam. And this anti-racist movement, which has been embraced by the, the American left and is consistent with the racist traditions of the Democratic Party all the way throughout their history back to the 1820s, it is 100% consistent with their, with, with the history of the, the racist history of the Democratic Party. You know, I mean, I, I listened to a lecture from Malcolm X where he said, you know, no one who supports Zionism should be opposed to his black nationalism because it's basically a black version of, of Zionism. Well, I oppose Zionism. And so it's not, you know, uh, it, it, I, I'm being intellectually consistent and honest here. Um, but, you know, that's part of the story. That's part of what we have here um, in this discussion about racism and anti-racism is that essentially you have a segregationist ideology uh, that's saying that basically, not that even that the white man is oppressive, but that America is oppressive, and that for a black person to accept the American ideology is accepting their oppressors. Now, I can understand when someone is saying, you know, and. and on one hand, you know, he's arguing against, he said one of the problems with uh, Dr. Seuss is that his books that speak against, uh, his books that would be considered progressive and liberal and speak out against racism are racist because by his definition, by the so-called anti-racist definition, because they are encouraging a colorblind society. And
and essentially that is I'm the first to admit that I believe that that is the goal of the American right is not racism, it's not oppressing black people, but achieving a colorblind society to a certain point. That doesn't mean total assimilation. Because the basics of what Americanism is, is very basic things. It's not this huge, you know, it's not this overarching culture. You know, it's this question of, is America the founders and the Constitution, or is America Coca-Cola and, and McDonald's and, and, and Walmart and whatever else it is? And the answer is America is just the Constitution. That's all America is. <clears throat> That's all that makes America great. All of these things exist and have their greatness because of the Constitution. But that's not the be-all and end-all of the American identity. It's just cultural aspects, but rather the ideology. And so many cultures can exist in a multicultural form within the American milieu um, if we embrace this idea of a colorblind aspect of society that's not totally colorblind. It doesn't say that you have to stop being who you are, but it just means that there is a certain level of inclusiveness within the society. We're going to have to talk a little bit more about this later, but I think it's better I make a short video, but I think I made a good point here. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll be back soon.